Hi everyone, good evening. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I wanna give you a little bit of information about, about the phlebotomy program and what to expect whenever you are um, in a class and what to expect whenever you um, continue to um, move on and go into a uh, work field. Go ahead and start. I have two students that are here. Um, as I'm speaking, they are going to be going just through the program, um, what we would you would see if you were actually in the classroom. So what are some of the things um, with the lobotomy that, um, um, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, what are the things that you can expect to be a phlebotomist? Where would you be working? Um, phlebotomy has a little bit of flexibility. Um, you would be um, possibly working in a laboratory in a hospital. Um, that would be a 24 hour shift. You could be in an outpatient uh, setting, which is typically a Monday through Friday. Um, and they are usually not open in the evening, or you um, could be in um, a small physician's office that possibly has a laboratory. Uh, there's donation centers and also the emergency room. They have their own staff as far as phlebotomists are concerned. So there's different areas that you can um, actually um, work as a phlebotomist. Um, there are some phlebotomists um, that are working part-time if you want to get some, uh, an extra um, income and they work for insurance companies, um, which is just on a PRN or ad need basis. Um, what's the type of work that you might be doing um, in um, a laboratory as a skill of having of being a phlebotomist? So um, you will be working as part of the team. You are part of the health team, um, but you will also be with someone that will be working independently. You need to be very comfortable with um, working independently one-on-one -on -one with a patient, um, possibly a patient and maybe some of their family members uh, that might be coming in to um, actually help um, with the whole process of um, the blood collection. Um, our job is to take an order from a healthcare provider and um, to complete the collection of, blood, of specimen. That could be blood, it could be a urine specimen, it possibly could be a culture, uh, nasal culture, throat cultures, uh, wound cultures. There may be a time where you're collecting saliva um, and or asking a patient for stool collection. So any type of body fluid is um, going to be something that you will come in contact with on a daily basis. Um, that is something that you need to um, think about prior to coming into the program because not everyone is comfortable with that. Um, so that is definitely something that you will see on a daily basis um, all day long. Um, good job. <laughs> um, with um, our classroom, I wanna give you a little bit of information with the classroom. Uh, we meet on Monday and Wednesday evenings from five until 9.30. Yes, that is a little bit of a chunk of time, uh, but it's, it's broken down into two different parts. Um, the first half, which is usually from five until seven o'clock, we will have a lecture. We'll be reviewing different chapters in the book that is required. Um, so yes, you do have to purchase a, um, a textbook. You'll also be asked to um, uh, purchase scrubs because they will be required as well, not just in the classroom, but also on externship. And um, we go through the first two hours of those lectures. Uh, we cover things as far as different types of equipment. Uh, we look at confidentiality. We talk about um, HIPAA regulations, legal aspects, um, pre-analytic and post-analytic um, skills, um, as well as the different processes. Um, there are three different skills that you will learn during the second half of the classroom. The second half of the classroom, um, will be approximately from seven until 9.30 each evening. And you will be asked to um, learn the hands-on skills, which is what the students are doing right now. Um, we do a lot of role playing in the classroom. Uh, one of the students are um, acting as the phlebotomist where the other one would be the patient. Um, you go through, you ask questions with your patient just like you normally would when you are in a laboratory setting. Um, and you will be practicing on a mannequin, but the mannequin arms are, are what you're seeing here. And we also do uh, phlebotomy on each other as far as classmates. Um, yes, that is something that we do. Um, it is not done until later in the semester when everyone is very comfortable with their skills, um, but it is required. We do it in the classroom so that it's a more controlled environment. 
Um, I can help you one on one and that when you go to externship, you are not being that rookie. You're not there for the first time having to do it in the laboratory, um, you know, in front of a real live patient. You're here with your classmate. Everyone's in the same um, kind of the same skill level. Um, the other thing that we do in class, we are also doing dermal punctures. Uh, dermal punctures are where you're doing a finger stick. And we um, are also requiring you to do that on your classmates as well. Um, and we keep um, a record of how many you're doing um, in the classroom. So that is what the classroom is like. Um, attendance is an absolute must. Everyone must be there. You cannot do these hands-on skills at home. There's no way. Um, so you have to be there. Um, attendance is extremely important. Also, when you go into externship, and I'll talk to you about that here in just a moment. Um, but attendance is not just being in the class, but also being there on time, ready to go, ready to start your, your evening um, with all of the different um, skills and all of the different um, lectures. In the classroom, as far as uh, what is expected of you for grades, um, there is work online um, that you, it's a homework that you do with each chapter. Um, there are um, four exams that need to be passed um, with a 75. All of the medical classes are 75 or above. And um, then you have some hands-on skills. That is the skills um, that you're seeing them do right now. Um, there are three different uh, competencies. Um, those different competencies are required with different types of equipment, which we will teach you all those different things in the classroom. After you have successfully completed the classroom, um, and that's a four, uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, that is a, a seven week class, um, but we meet two nights a week, 14 classes total. Um, then when there is an externship, um, your externship is um, uh, 100 hours that are required um, in a laboratory in the community. Thanks guys. Um, um, excuse me, where I lost my train of thought. Um, you will be doing the externship in laboratories in the tri-state area. Uh, we assign you to those laboratories and you will complete 100 learning hours. Um, during that 100 learning hours, that is um, Monday through Friday. Um, unfortunately, there are no weekends and there are no evenings. Uh, laboratories are busy in the morning. They're not busy in the evening. So um, we require the students to be there and to start by seven o'clock every morning. Um, that they're working Monday through Friday um, in uh, a five week period. Um, during that time, you will have a, um, an employee there that will be uh, working with you closely to help you through all the trials and tribulations that you have uh, during the externship. Um, one of our students has completed, the other one's just getting started. Um, but uh, there's questions I'm sure that you can, uh, they can answer for you if you have questions. Um, the um, externship, you will be required to finish um, homework assignments and also a test, two tests actually, and there is a grade. 